Hey everybody, welcome to another Spiky Saturday. We're going to be doing another Cons of Tarkir Swiss draft this week. Uh, we, we barely got this draft in. Uh, this is actually late Friday night. Uh, Magic the Gathering Online has been down almost the entire day. Uh, but it came up with just enough time for me to hopefully get this recording in to have this up for uh, Saturday. So we're going to jump into this queue here and wait for it to fire. Uh, I think we're going to be the second draft queue since Magic has come back. Uh, but I will see you for pack one, pick one. All right, here we are for pack one, pick one. We are looking at a Crater's Claws as our rare, which is fantastic and probably what we're going to take. Uh, it's a red sorcery spell, red X, and you deal X damage to target creature or player. So it's just a straight up, uh, uh, I can't think of a card name offhand, not quite a fireball since it's a single target, but a direct damage spell. If you have Ferocious, then it actually does X plus two. That's fantastic removal. Uh, absolutely some of the best removal there is in this set. There's also an Aerostorm, which is also pretty good removal. Uh, I don't think we'll get it back around. Also in this pack, we have a long shot Squad, which is quite decent. Pretty first pickable if there's nothing sitting in the rare or uncommon slot for you. Uh, Sultai Flare has actually gone up a bit in my uh, 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 ratings lately. For some reason, I thought you gained a life or two life, but it's four life, and that's actually surprisingly decent. Uh, if you build around it, you can get a, a pretty interesting engine going. There's also a Singing Bell Strike, but we're taking the Crater's Claws. Just straight up removal, single color. Uh, it lets us go into several different clans, so we're taking that. So we have a Bear's Companion, which is quite a good card, but that would throw us straight into Teamer. Uh, we've got a Hooting Mandrels, which is very good, a Pine Walker, an Alabaster Kirin, Saltai Scavenger, Tre Treasure Cruise. This is a good pack. Um, let's see here. So ideally, we would want to go with, if not a red card, a white card or a blue card, as that would allow us to have the most access to clans. So as far as white and blue go, Alabaster Kieran I think beats Treasure Cruise, at least in the decks that I like to play. You can obviously go crazy with Treasure Cruise, but I think it requires a pretty specific deck to be built around it. If I were to take the Pine Walker or the Hooting Mandrels, then I'm putting myself uh, solidly into Teamer. Uh, if I take the Sultai Scavenger, I'm putting myself solidly into Mardu, which I am totally okay with. Um, but the Alabaster Kirin keeps me open to Jeskai. It keeps me open to Mardu. Plus, it's just a fantastic card. Um, so I will take it. Let's see. We've got a Tri-Land, unfortunately, in none of the colors that we've picked so far. Uh, we have a Sultai Scavenger. Uh, very good if we wanted to think about Mardu. Smite the Monster is decent. Swarm of Blood is also very good. Also Mardu. Um, Jeskai-wise, there's nothing for us. So I think the pick here is between Scavenger Flies, Scoured Barons, actually, uh, and Smite. I think we'll just take the Seltai Scavenger, and we'll uh, take a look at going Mardu. Take up arms, very nice to see. Uh, Mardu Hateblade, Mardu Skull Hunter. Uh, we've got a black red land that we could take. Lots of good picks here. Um, I am tempted by most by the Skull Hunter, probably just barely followed by the Hateblade. Take up arms if we already had a chief uh, or anything warrior based would be fantastic. Uh, but I think I'm going to take the little uh, relatively speedy 2-1 here. Uh, I bet we can get another hate blade around. This probably won't wheel. Uh, that'll be taken. One, two, three, four, five. No, we won't get that back, but we'll take the Skull Hunter here. Meandering Tower Shell. Never taking that ever again if I don't have to. Um... Another uh, pretty late long shot squad, actually, but we're kind of falling out of that color. Uh, unless we... No, there's no red, black, green. Uh, we've got an unyielding Krumar. We've got a rush of battle if we wanted to do the warrior thing. I think Krumar is just kind of the safish pick here. We're not even necessarily red yet. We could still fall uh, Abzan. We just have a, an amazing red card, but nothing else. Uh, unyielding Krumar keeps us in black keeps our options open slightly and, and is just a decent card so we'll take that 
Um, we've got another Skull Hunter. We've got a Mardu War Shrieker. We just have a straight up black red uh, dual land. I almost feel like I should take that now. But War Shrieker fixes our mana kind of as well. And I really, really like it. I feel like I haven't learned my lesson yet that I need to take dual lands early. And I don't think I'm going to learn it just yet either. We're going to take the War Shrieker here. Uh, let's see. Right of the Serpent. Kind of our only pick here. It's, it's a pretty good pick. It's you know not fantastic removal, but what is these days? Uh, we have a Tormenting Voice. No. Molting Snake Skin. No. Uh, pretty solid green card in Alpine Grizzly to be this late. Although there could have been some good stuff in this pack. Kentry Inv Invocation is pretty decent uh, if we did end up falling um, uh, Abzan, but I think by taking a red card we are really trying to push Mardu now, so we'll take Rite of Serpent. <laughs> and then we get past more green cards. Um, well, we could just take a Firehoof Cavalry. Might be what we do, actually. To go Abzan, I would need to lose Warshrieker and Crater's Claw, and I would just be going off of Alabaster Kieran. Um, so we'll take the Firehoof Cavalry. Really don't want to play it, but we have it. Uh, let's see. Does Rotting Mastodon have no flavor? To there we go. I was going to say, it looks really blank. Um, Heart Piercer Bow, I guess? With all that green, we could go salt eye if we wanted backwater. Or just siegecraft. Let's take the heart piercer bow, but ain't gonna play it, I don't think. Summit Prowler is decent. Especially this late. That's kind of where I like to have it. So yeah, we'll take that. Uh Salt Road Patrol, I guess that's what we'll take. I don't know if I'll play it or not. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. Obviously, it blocks forever, but eh, we'll take it. And it's going to be one of the first cards to cut. Uh, Molting Snakeskin is actually relatively okay. Uh, you never really want to look to include it, but it's all right if you need to. Uh, so we'll take it uh, and throw it right in the sideboard. Uh, really late rush of battle if we can pull off the uh, Warriors deck. We've got Skull Hunter, and that's it. <laughs> Uh, yielding crew on yielding crewmar as well. Oh, and scavenger actually. So that's decent. We'll take the rush of battle and see if we can go warriors. There's another warrior. It's not a not a great one, but it's a one. Um, that'll probably get be cut pretty quickly. Uh, whenever it attacks or blocks, you sacrifice it at the end of your turn. So you get one single uh, four four attack or block, which isn't terrible, but it's not great. Ooh, this is great. High sentinels of Arashin. Uh, flying 3-4 four for 4, already fantastic. Uh, its power and toughness gets boosted by plus 1, plus 1 for every creature that has a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it. And you can pay 4 to just throw a plus 1, plus 1 counter on anything, including itself. Fantastic card. We also have a Bellowing Saddle Brute, which I would like. Uh, Throttle, which is decent. Canyon Lurkers is okay. We should be able to get back the Lurkers or the Throttle. I doubt we'll see the Saddle Brute back, but we're taking this uh, High Sentinels for sure. Filling up on four drops. Let's pitch the Salt Road Patrol right now because we're not playing it. We do not want to play it. Um, choices. So, <laughs> so Ride Down. I played a, a draft that I didn't record the other day, and the uh, player I was playing against had three of these, and they were obnoxious. Uh, it's a two-mana removal spell, which is fantastic. It does require that your opponent is blocking with something, uh, but... Generally, your opponent's going to be blocking with something. Um, I'm tempted to take it here, but I feel like I kind of want the dual land uh, just to kind of fix my mana a bit. There is a Bondkin over here, uh, which we should probably get back around. Um, I'm not 100% sold on Ride Down. I think it was good against me just because I was attacking a lot. Uh, or sorry, I was blocking a lot. Um, and he had three of them, so uh, uh, they did pretty well. Uh, but we'll just take the dual land here. It's a boring pick, but it's a... Uh, uh, a good pick. Ooh, and we get a try land here. Uh, we would have to pass a burn away. Uh, but my Crater's Claw is better than a burn away. Um, yeah. 
that sucks, but this is a, a tri land in our three colors, so we're taking it. Uh, let's see, we've got another dual land if we want it, but I think I hear we're going to take a Mardu Horde Chief. It is it is a warrior, so it goes with a rush of battle, it goes with any chiefs we happen to get. And it's also just a great creature, a 2-3 three for 3. Uh, if you've attacked, you get a 1-1 one, one warrior. Uh, that warrior creature type is very, uh, very, there's a word, relevant uh, in this format and in the, uh, uh, the Mardu deck. So we're going to take that. Um... Don't know if we'll get anything really back from here. Maybe a swift kick, but that's kind of eh. But War Chief, or Horde Chief, very good. Um, Not much here. We've got a Leaping Master, which is decent. Uh, we have a Black Red Land, which would help us out. I can probably get a Leaping Master uh, when I want one in the next pack. Retribution of Agents is terrible, as we discovered in our rare draft. So we'll take the Bloodfell Caves here. So that's uh, three mana fixing lands. Don't terribly need, need too many more just yet. Um, kind of like where we are with that, especially having the tri land in our three colors. Uh, so I won't probably take this black red duel. Uh, Leaping Master, quite good, but I think the Hate Blade is better. It's also a warrior, uh, so we'll take that. We are looking for a Leaping Master at some point, um, but as I said, we can almost definitely get one of those. So Mardu Hate Blade, get in there. I definitely want more two and three drops, uh, preferably nothing else at four. Um, let's see, Bloodfire Expert, or a Bringlow. Bringlow is quite good, we do have a Crater's Claw, we do have a Right of the Serpent, um, Bloodfire Expert is a 3-1, but I think I need the creatures here, um, that's tough. Bringlow might be the right pick here, but I'm just afraid of not having enough creatures, so we are going to take the Bloodfire Expert. The unfortunate thing is that it might get a cut, actually, uh, but we'll see. Uh, have I already sideboarded out that sal uh, Salt Road Patrol that I bashed? Yes, I did. Um, I don't think we want to take that one. We could take a big uh, Curve Topper 5-4 Flyer. I don't think I've ever seen anybody ever play it. Um, but we might. Hopefully not, but we might. Um, I guess a sideboard erase. I still have yet to play a banner, and I still have yet to play against anybody who's played a banner where I've thought that it's done really well for them. It always just ends up seeming really slow, or that uh, just doesn't do that good. Uh, definitely Clue Stones 2.0, I would say. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just take the erase in case we come up against... Uh, I'm not even sure what card would be frightening for me. Here's the Bondkin back around that I wanted. Uh, it's a 5 drop, but it's a morph, so it's actually a 3 drop. Uh, another rush of battle is not what we're looking for. Singing Bell Strike seems quite late here. So does Scion of Glaciers. I'll take the Scion. Uh, so we got Swift Kick and Dragon Grip back around. Dragon Grip could be okay in our deck. It's not an amazing card, but Maybe it'll make the cut. I don't think so, though. So we need four more playables, preferably one or two more creatures. Uh, we want to, what were we looking to replace? Uh, sure, we'll rare draft the terrible rare, and away it goes. We're looking to replace the Firehoof Cavalry, I'll just take it out right now, I really don't want to play it. Um, we're looking to probably replace the Mardu Blazebringer. And that's all we're really desperately looking to replace. Maybe the Venerable Lamasu needs to get out of there. 
But we've got a whole pack to go. We could get some good stuff. We could open another Soren. That would be fantastic. Um, Butcher of the Horde would be great to have. But we'll see what we get once we get our basic. Wow, somebody's really behind. 24 picks. We picked 29. Hurry it up, Soren. His username is Jess Guy. Interesting. I wonder if he's drafting Jess Guy. All right, come on, pack three, pick one. Be something good. Don't be a hardened scales or an Ugin's Nexus. Ugin's Nexus, that was called. Whatever it's called, that terrible card that we got in our rare draft. I'd be happy with a Sarkon, of course. A Sorin. Butcher of the Horde, as I said. Um, not take another Crater's Claws, even. Uh, fetch land would be nice. Uh, I would splash for a siege rhino. And barring that, I'd be okay with any of the awesome outlasters. Uh, Abzan Falconer, Abzan Battle Priest, uh, Anak Bonkin. Any of those guys. Mardu Ascendancy. Well, it's in our colors. And it's a decent card. Murderous Cut is fantastic, though. There's every possibility we get this Mardu Ascendancy back. If nobody else is Mardu, we might get it back. Uh, somebody will take one, two, three, four, five, six. We could potentially get it back. And Murderous Cut is just amazing removal. Uh, so I think we're taking that for sure. I really want this. Uh, I really hope I see it uh, seven picks from now. Murderous Cut in the deck. Ivory Tusk Fortress. I don't think we would splash for that. Uh, there's an Anok Bonkin that I was talking about. And nothing else in the pack at all. But I'm totally okay with the Anok Bonkin. I really hope we get that Mardu Ascendancy back. Uh, every time you attack, uh, for every attacking creature, you get a 1-1 Goblin attacking as well. And then just randomly, at any point, you can sacrifice Mardu Ascendancy and all your creatures get plus 0, plus 3 until end of turn. Generally can't blow somebody out with that, but uh, the attacking Goblins for every creature is just great. Pretty happy with the deck so far. Um, let me pull some of these over. Uh, Blazebringer, I want out. Venerable Lamasu, I probably want out. And I think that's about it for all of that I really want out. Uh, there's other stuff that I'd be totally okay with. Um, Sadisi Blood Tyrant, no. Uh, I don't think it's worth anything. Just a quick second here. Well, it is worth two bucks, but uh, winning is worth more than two bucks. Uh, so we've got a Raider's Spoils. How many warriors do we have? We have one, two, three, four, if it attacks. Five, six, seven. We could consider Raiders Spoils and uh, really focus on getting a few more Warriors. That might not be good, though. No, let's take the Bringlow. Maybe I'll kick myself for that. Ooh, an Absent Battle Priest. That's what I was talking about. Uh, that's a pick for sure. That is in our deck. Uh, nothing else we really want here. There's a disowned ancestor, which is okay. Uh, we'll take the Abton Battle Priest for sure. Really fills up our four slot, but oh well. All right, I'm certain we can get something, so let's ditch that Blazebringer and the Lamasu. We're looking for three more playables. We have almost even color distribution. We have one more white card than we do black and red cards. Uh, and we actually haven't touched gold at all. Interesting. Good thing we have those uh, mana fixing lands. I'd even be okay with picking up one more. Maybe a, uh, uh, a wind scarred crag. So 
So I really want three more creatures, I think, as my picks. Um, ew, nothing here. Scoured Barons, I think, is the pick. Uh, Despise is eh, much more of a constructed card. Rotting Mastodon, no. Fire of Cavalry, no. Shatter, no. Brave the Sands, no. Scoured Barons, it is. Maybe that Blazebringer or that Lamasu will come back into our deck. I really don't want them to, but maybe they will. I would love another Bondkin. Um, maybe another Horde Chief. A Morph Creature. Ponyback Brigade would be okay. Uh, what do we have here? Ugh, nothing. Nothing at all. It's between Trumpet Blast and Rakshasa's Secret. Uh, Rakshasa's Secret does turn on Saltai Scavenger and Murderous Cut a bit. And Mind Rot is always playable. Uh, we don't quite have enough for me to want to do Trumpet Blast. So Rakshasa's Secret it is. So we've got, what, two more packs until that Mardu Ascendancy hopefully comes back? Or three more picks? I think three more picks. Come on, Mardu Ascendancy. Don't you dare take it a Johnny Soren or Eye Patch dude. Is that Royal Assassin, possibly? Not sure. Uh, let's see. Bitter Revelation, Disowned Ancestor, Rush of Battle. I think we're okay with a Disowned Ancestor here. It'll get First Strike. It'll get uh, uh, Life Link. It's a pretty solid blocker. So yeah, get in. And it's a warrior. Fortunately, all we have is the Rush of Battle to support warriors. Didn't see a single chief. Um... We saw that Raider Spoils. I still think it was right to take the Bringlow. Did I take Bringlow over that? I think I took Bringlow over it. I still think that was right. I think Raider Spoils really needs to be in the dedicated black-white uh, Warriors deck. Debilitating Injury. Yes, please. Yes, please. In you go. So there's our 22. Maybe we get Mardu Ascendancy here, and then we have to make a cut. Probably cut uh, Rakshasa's secret for it. <laughs> I really hope it actually wheels. I'd be kind of surprised, though. I would expect somebody to hate it or to uh, money draft it, although I think it's probably worth, like, probably a quarter at most. Um, yeah, somebody took it because this was the pack with Cranial Archive and Crippling Chill. Surprised nobody took the Crippling Chill, to be honest. Um, there is nothing here for us at all. Uh, we're looking at a, a Tormented Voice or hating out a Crippling Chill. I'll hate out a Crippling Chill. So I'm not sure if we saw anything else that I want back. Uh, so this might be our deck right here. Um, a race is sideboard. Fire hoof, ca fire hoof cavalry, no. Salt road patrol, no. Venerable Lamasu, no. Mardu blaze bringer, almost definitely not. Until I see somebody actually use it well, uh, I don't think I'm going to be the person to try to use it. Witness of the ages. It's a four four, for five if you morph it, or for six if you don't. It's okay. I don't know if we'd replace anything for that. Um, maybe the Rush of Battle? Well, we'll take it and think about it. Uh, nothing here I want at all. Let's take the... Uh, I don't even know. The Warden. How many Warriors do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six... 
seven, eight. Eight warriors, that's a fair amount for rush of battle. Uh, this pack, nothing we want. Sidisi's pet is terrible. Uh, just doesn't do anything good. In Theros, when you could have bestowed it with stuff, it would have been pretty great, but uh, right now it's just terrible. So goblin slide, I guess. Um, so yeah, I think we will go with the rush of battle. Uh, let's take Brave the Sands and rip it up and throw it in the sideboard. I've seen people try to use Brave the Sands as a, an outlast kind of value thing where you can attack with your creatures because they have vigilance and then end of turn outlast them, but you're wasting a card really with that Brave the Sands. There's so much else that you probably could have put in your deck. Uh, you'll never really catch me playing it. Not unless somebody some, somehow breaks this format like Spider Spawning did. A last pick Winter Flame is really strange. Uh, it's a solid card. And we'll take this mountain. So I think we have our deck. Um, Goblin Slide, no. Mardu Blazebringer, no. Kintry Warden is green. We are not. Uh, right, where was I? <laughs> That's what I get for starting early before we get to deck construction. Uh, Venerable Lamasu, no. Salt Road Patrol, no. Brave the Sands, no. Switch just Vigilance. Oh, your creatures can block an extra creature, but eh. Erase is sideboard. Molting Snakeskin, no. Retribution, no. Goblin Slide, no. We're not splashing a blue for Winter Flame. Witness of the Ages, no. We're going to go the Rush of Battle plan to start. If it ends up terrible, we might switch this in, but I think I'm okay with it. So let's just throw in our lands. And let me see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm counting this as one black. Uh, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten black. So eight, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've got two red sources, three white sources, and four black sources. So five, six, three. So three, four, five red sources, eight white sources, and ten black sources. I think that sounds about right. Uh, Dragon Grip is not turn three. Crater's Claw is obviously not turn one. Bring low is probably not turn four. So yeah, I think that's about right. Yep, let's do that. Add to the deck. And we'll submit. Uh, I, I feel confident-ish in this deck. Uh, I don't necessarily know that we have a huge bomb outside of the high sentinels. Um, but we have just solid stuff. As long as they don't drop a bomb or two that we can't deal with murderous cut, I think we should be pretty okay. So I'm going to submit this deck, and I will see you guys for round one.